This video is just going to be a uh, kind of review and just show you uh, this Optrail air fed uh, welding and grinding setup which I've just got. Got this from Inverter Fusion. Uh, they've given me it to try out and um, give my opinion on. I was going to like unbox it all when it was all brand new but I thought I would uh, get some hours in on it and then give you a, a, an opinion of what it's actually like to use rather than just what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So I've got the uh, crystal helmet which is all set up for the uh, air fed thingy and I've got this grinding mask and then this is the breather pack which filters the air so you get nice clean air. This is something that I've wanted for a long time. You've probably seen me wear this thing a lot. Obviously welding produces a lot of toxic fumes and um, particularly if you're working on cars, old cars, a lot of the time you're burning through paint and all sorts of stuff. You don't know what um, gases that's producing when you're burning through it all and uh, if you spend a lifetime breathing all that crap in, yeah, the likelihood of you getting lung cancer is uh, going to be quite high. So I try to protect my lungs and um, you know, I spent a lot of years not using any kind of protection and not really um, thinking about stuff like that. But when you get a bit older you do start to uh, worry a bit about that sort of stuff. So. So yeah, the only difference obviously is you have to wear a breather pack around your waist and you have this hose which connects into the helmet, blows fresh air in front of your face and you're not breathing in all the fumes. It's a bit heavier, it's a bit more irritating to wear but if you're used to, uh, if you use these, these are horrible to wear, um, particularly in the summer when they get hot. So yeah, this start with this, this is the uh, breather pack and you can adjust how uh, much air it's sort of putting through, it's got an alarm for when the filter needs replacing and an alarm when the battery uh, gets low this is the filter pack. I've actually got two filters in here. So this is the standard one that it comes with. I noticed when I was grind, I was uh, cutting a load of steel up with a nine inch sort of firing the sparks up past my waist here and I could smell that like distinctive uh, cutting disc smell coming through. This is like a, so this is the master filter which is I think like a particle filter and then this one is just like an odour filter and with, with both of them on you um, you don't get anything coming through. I prefer having, having them both on there and then the battery just slides on the bottom you get a 20 hour battery pack and a 10 hour battery pack. I'm not actually sure which one this is, doesn't say. But I've only actually charged this once and I've been using it quite a lot. So that's the uh, filter pack, grinding shield, which is, uh, which is, yeah, not really much to sort of report on that, it's just a face shield with the uh, air fed vents which blow air down the bottom there at your face and then you can have it so it blows it at your forehead as well, there's a little thing in there. I've been using this a lot, really nice when you're like in a car, when you're trapped in a car and you're creating a lot of dust and fumes, it's really nice to, to be just there in clean air and obviously much safer having a full face shield than uh, glasses. 
you can always get things bounce up under your glasses and into your eye, which I have had happen. So that's that one. The hoses just come off really easily. They're just like a, you just squeeze the doodah and makes for easy disconnection. This is the crystal mask, which a lot of people uh, have been raving about. So the uh, difference with this and, and any other mask that I've worn is how clear the visibility is through the screen. And when you've got that with the air fed mask, you can pretty much just kind of leave it down the whole time. Um, like I was welding a load of, uh, doing a load of welding on the underside of a car with, the, uh, with everything on and um, doing a lot of like hammer and dolly work in between when I was welding I just kept the kept the hood down because the visibility is so good you don't even need to lift it up which when you've got all the air fed thing on there is nice and then this is this is the same it blows fresh air in front of your face there and then you've got the same little thing there if you want it to blow at your forehead and then on the inside this is just your delay how quickly it sets on and off and then on this side you've got sensitivity your range this is a just a grind button I just left a little plastic thing on there just to stop any grit getting in it but just press the grind button a little light flashes in there probably my favorite feature of this helmet is that you can just set it to auto and it will auto adjust the lens if you're doing low level like if you're doing TIG low level and then you went straight to like doing some um, pulse mig or something really bright it will auto adjust it you never even have to touch anything so I think that's that's probably got to be one of the best features of it. I'll try and show you how clear it is. So that, that is what you see through the mask, that's how clear it is. The other thing it's got, which works well, is uh, just this little knob which adjusts the helmet up and down. So if you're like in a tight little spot and you're trying to look down and you've got it set, uh, you can just literally just turn the knob and move it to get the um, screen exactly where you want it. If I was trying to find a fault with it or something I didn't like, it would have to be the headgear. I like that feature, how you can clock it up and down, but the, the headgear itself is, um, is really quite stiff. It's not the most comfortable. But that, that might soften up a bit over time. Yeah. That, that would be my only, my only pick at it, but in terms of like functionality, I've never used uh, a helmet that um, gives you as good visibility as this. Uh, you've got crystal clear visibility when you haven't got an arc in front of you, and then when you have got an arc in front of you, it is what you can see is uh, next level. And then obviously you get it in a bag with uh, your charger, your filters, spare lens, and uh, if you, Inverted Fusion have given me a discount code. So, if you want to, if you get any, if you buy any Optrail stuff from them, um, just use code Urchfab, and you'll get a discount. 
and then this little thing just clips on you. Uh, it's just a little belt buckle clip that goes around the on the breather pack. So you can uh, hang that on your belt. The only other thing I would say with this uh, air fed stuff is it doesn't work very well if you don't have the uh, breather pack on. So you think, oh, I'm just doing a quick job, I'll put this on. Because it's all sealed around your face, it just steams it up straight away. So you kind of need, you kind of need uh, both, really, if, if you, same deal with this, if you don't have it on, you just steam the lens up straight away. But uh, I've got two, two helmets, so it's not an issue to me. I'll put a link in the description to Inverted Fusion and if you were, were going to buy yourself uh, an Optrail helmet or something then go get yourself a discount. I'm going to make a uh, bracket for the wall now to hang all this stuff on so I've got somewhere nice to store it, keep it out of the way so it's not just thrown around the workshop. So we're going to cut that out on the plasma table. I made a rookie error. I put my screw hole right behind the tab so I can't get a screwdriver in there. Make a good coat rack. Thanks again to Invert Fusion for uh, hooking me up with the AirFed setup and uh, discount code in the description if you want to get yourself some Optrail gear. Yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.